Chapter 11, Blood Runs Red. In Port Poha, a bustling port that doesn't look like a battle map at all. It just looks like a town. Surely this won't be a place of battle. Mm. Well, we're here. Welcome to Toha, Crimea's western mo westernmost port city. What's with this place? The people are going about their business. Why aren't they worried about Dayan, about the war? Because this area is fairly isolated. Dayan's army hasn't come this far, and so life goes on as before. Dayan plan, uh, Dayan's plan is to seize the capital, then slowly and steadily expand its sphere, as, uh, its sphere of influence until it controls everything. Surely these people have some idea of what's happening. Ignorance is a form of bliss, is it not? These people don't know what it's like to lose a war. They don't want to know. Crimea as a nation has always been blessed by peace. Perhaps this is due to the temperament of its rulers, but the country hasn't seen serious warfare for centuries. While minor skirmishes with the Kingdom of Dayan have been a uh, legion, only the eastern borders have taken damage. And yet even I know that this peace will not last. When we met Dayan forces on our scouting mission, they attacked us merely for being within the Crimean border. Humans are shameless creatures that carelessly ignore any misfortune which does not befall them directly. They can, and often do, turn a blind eye to all manners of wickedness so long as it does not touch them or their kin. They will bow their heads, condemning those victims uh, for bringing calamity upon themselves. And then they will cast their eyes downward, uh, toward, uh, cast their eyes toward heaven in thanks while their neighbors lay dying around them. But the war is happening here. This is their home, not someone else's. When the day an army darkens their doorsteps, perhaps they will understand. When the peace they take for granted is shattered and their sons and daughters slaughtered in the streets, Perhaps then they will comprehend misfortunes so long, uh, so they so long pretended not to see. I have no sympathy for them. <laughs> My goodness, the nastier the truth, the blunter he gets. Quite a delightful staff officer you have there. Hey, he, um, he has an undeniable streak of severity in him, but, but this, something's bothering him, that's for sure. It's to be expected. Even I'm a bit shocked by this place. Can they truly be as placid as they appear? Soren's a very empathetic young man. The emotions of this place may have proven to be too much for him. Ignoring impending doom because you cannot prevent it? Fatalism is by nature a disheartening beast. Well, for all those born with nothing, there are those born with everything. Perhaps those who never notice the differences, uh, the difference are the ones we should envy. What's that supposed to mean? Huh? Oh, I was talking to myself. Pay me no mind. Hmm. Now then, I've got to see a man about a ship. While I'm gone, why don't you get your supply squared away? I'm sure that the journey ahead will require a lot of packing. Renolf, I'll go with you. No, no, that's all right. You should supervise the supply acquisition. You're gonna be at sea for months, you know? I know that, but... What is it, Titania? She's worried about me. She doesn't want to leave a solitary lagoos wandering around a Bay Orc city. I thought Crimea and Gallia were allied nations. Why would a wandering lagoos be cause for concern? Well, it shouldn't be, but... Do you remember what King uh, King Kynegus told you? The friendship between Crimea and Galleon only exists between the ruling classes. It hasn't taken root in the minds of all the common citizenry at all. That being said, things have improved quite a bit since King Ramon ascended the throne. Reports of hunts and such other horrors have all but disappeared. Oh, don't worry, I'll be fine. I've got connections, see? It's not like I'll be roaming the docks begging for passage. All right then, the job is yours. Please be careful. You too, don't mess anything up. Ike, here's a summary of our last battle. And we got a lot of bonus EXP from the last one because we were able to keep up the stealth portion of it. Our MVP was Ike and we got Brom, Kiera, Nephany, and Volk as new allies. Ike was the, oh yeah, because th there weren't a lot of battles in that one. That's why he was the MVP. There were no casualties and no one suffered permanent injury. We fought excellently. That's all I have to report. Now if you'll excuse me. Starting off here, I should go over two things that I did uh, in the previous episode because I forgot to mention them. First off, I bought Soren and Elwind, and I created. Was it the point? It might have been the point. Who has the other one? Was it? Was it? Was it Marsha? Yeah, it, well, I created the point uh, for uh, for Marsha, but I gave it to Oscar instead. Uh, just as well, we are going to be using quite a bit of our bonus EXP here. I am going to use it 
I'd like to use, like, at least a bit of bonus EXP on Reese for, like, every single, at, like, every chapter get him up at least one level. I think I might actually get him up two. It's a pretty good one. Better resist, skill, speed. Let's get him up one more level. As you can see, the higher your level is, the more experience it costs to get someone to level 100. In lower levels, it costs less than 100. Ooh, these are really good up upgrades for, for, uh, for Reese. I'm hoping the others are, are as lucky because I'm gonna be trying to get Nephany up to uh, level uh, level 10 here. We'll go over more about her when I uh, when I talk about her. Oh! <laughs> when I talk about her stat ups, please be good. Or when I talk about her her as a as a character. Why did her magic go up? At least she got more out of it than, than last time. <sighs> okay. Pretty subpar, but I'll, uh, you gotta work with what you got here. I'm gonna try not to like reset here. Who else should I give? Oh, something else that was mentioned to me in the comments. Let me see if I can find her. Where is Leith? There she is. Uh. Yeah, I think this is it. The Lagoos, when they enter their beast form, they get a uh, they get bonuses to their stats. Uh, between Mordecai and uh, and Leith, the uh, the differences will be shown on screen right now. Editing time, don't forget. I'm also gonna upgrade Volk because I want to use him too. Bring. Not bad. Good speed up. Uh, good st uh, strength up is always good. Let's get Soren leveled up. Um, he's been doing pretty good so far. His zero strength is gonna be rough, but his speed is always pretty, pretty freaking high. So, pretty freaking high there. Yeah. I was planning on using Marsha, but she got like no stat ups, or she got no level ups whatsoever. And she's like, what level five starting off here? Yeah, I'd have to like, I'd have to invest so much into her and I don't really plan on doing that. Anybody else I want to level up? Uh, I could put more into Rolf. In fact, I think I will. Get him up to snuff because I do need... Not bad, strength, skill, and speed are good for, for an archer to have. I wish his HP would go up, you know, at all. That's, okay, that's good, that's good. We're starting to get somewhere with Rolf, so that's, that's good. All right, at any rate, I'm gonna go ahead and save here because I'm going to be doing the support conversations if there are any. I'm, I can't remember if I actually checked or not. Uh, let's see. No, there are no new support conversations this chapter. That's, that's unique. All right, let's get some, uh, some uh, of these infos out of the way, starting with a merchant. Hey there, traveler. Do you have everything you need? If you stop by my humble shop, you'll find the best deals in town. What do you say, interested? Yeah, that sounds great. Listen, can I ask you a question? No problem, you could ask me anything, especially if it's about my low, low prices. What do the townspeople think of Dayan? You knew that they were coming. Didn't anyone think to flee Crimea? Flee? Don't be absurd. But Crimea lost the war. Yeah, I know, and honestly, that doesn't really affect us common folk, you know? The truth is, we don't care who sits on the throne. To us, they're all just faceless beings who rule from on high. If they tried to raise taxes or something, you better believe we'd protest, but otherwise... I mean, take the King of Dayan. He's just another man, right? If we keep working, we can keep living the high life. So it's not like he's going to treat us poorly or anything. As long as we could live our lives and have a little happiness, we aren't going to worry about, uh, worry about it all too much. Oh, but if we were invaded by Gallia, well, that's a different story altogether. For our country overrun by those savage beasts, who knows what could happen? Now that scares me. What the? Hey, wait, come back! What about my low, low prices? Now what was that all about? Ha ha, ha 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 ha, ah, mmm, mmm, man. Pardon me, buddy, I haven't seen you around town before. You a traveling mercenary? Yes, I suppose you could say that. Nice sword, you look like a man who knows his business. If you're looking for work, I've got a proposition for you. A proposition? I run a vigilante group that keeps our fair town safe. 
strong man like you would be most welcome. Thanks, but I've got something lined up. Oh, really? That's too bad. Heading out to sea? Maybe. <laughs> Cautious to the end. I like that. Well, just in case you are, I want you to have this. Hmm? What's this? It's a special sword. It'll come in handy if you ever find yourself at sea. Not that you would. <laughs> really? You're giving me a sword? Are you sure? Well, there's, there is one condition. Once you've finished your job, you come back and see me. I'd like, to recons I'd like you to reconsider that vigilante position. Understood. Thanks, for, thanks again for the blade. A Lagoo Slayer! Uh, this is a sword designed against demi-humans. It does increase damage against lagoos. Which also brings me to my next point. The... Bayork Guard! Uh, that Leaf had. Uh, which now Mordecai has. It... Doesn't block against... It doesn't block against all Bayork attacks. Only by Bayork attacks that have... Uh... What is it? Only Bayork attacks that are super effective. So like fire damage or like any or like the Lagoo Slayer. Really weird that they put it that way. Next up we've got Alincia. Princess. My Lord Ike. Why are you here all by yourself? That's not very safe. I was looking at the town. I'm unfamiliar with the world outside the Imperial Villa where I was raised. This is the first time I've been able to see how other people live. Everything's so new and different to my eyes. This is a town, this is a town, isn't it? There's so much energy and everyone seems to be enjoying themselves. With all the boats coming in and out of the harbor, this town's livelier than most, that's for sure. It's like nothing has happened. All the death and destruction we've seen feels like a horrible dream. Hmm. Ah, uh, the woes of royalty. Being sheltered, not having seen the world and Seeing the world go on despite the fact that the capital was under siege. Kieran. Ha! Yeah! Yeah! What are you doing? I'm trying to regain the superb physique I lost while I was being held prisoner. Are you ready to board the ship? I was born ready. I don't need anything. Even as we speak, many of my fellow Crimeans are suffering at the hands of Dayan. If I cannot rush to their aid today, then I can at least prepare myself for the day when I can. I see, but when we're ready, I'll let you know. Understood. Sorry to have interrupted you. My Lord Ike! What is it? You rescued and cared for Princess Alencia. You have my heartfelt thanks. She... For us, she is our one solitary hope. Yeah. Right, enough talking. Until we make our triumphant return to the Melior, all I can do is keep training. Ha! Yeah! Ah! Careful, don't pull anything. Brom. What are you looking at? Oh, just this. Sort of a good luck charm. My family gave it to me when I left home. We never had much money, so my parents gathered some s stones from our farm back home and put them in this leather pouch. It's not much to look at, but it means a lot to me. Every day I take them out and talk to them like they're my family. How is everyone? I'm out here doing the best I can. Don't worry, I'll be home soon. Stuff like that. I know it sounds foolish, but if I don't do this, I won't... I won't have the courage to fight. Don't worry about my feelings, you can laugh. Acting like this at my age, what a silly man I am. It's not silly, Brom. You're a strong man who decided to fight for the sake of his family. I know that your family is very proud of you. <laughs> Thank you, Ike. Thank you. It's very sweet. Brahm is such a softy, despite having that hard exterior of armor. And finally, Nephany. Well, that's that. Are you ready to go, Nephany? Ah, Ike. What is it? Um, nope, nothing. I'm fine. Are you sure? Yeah, sure, I'm sure. You know, it's hard being a prisoner. It's physically and mentally demanding. I need to know, can you fight? Not a problem. It's easy for you to say, but you sound like you're about to fall over. That? Oh no, that's just a habit. It's just the way I talk, just talking. Sorry. No need to apologize. As long as you're not feeling ill, everything's fine. All right, I'll see you later. Right then. I wonder if she's hiding something. Maybe we'll be able to find out more with supports from, uh, from her. Anyway, this is the part where I outfit my, my troops. I'll see you at the start of the next chapter. 
Something I want to go over before we end up starting the chapter is I'm using my stat up items. I already used the uh, arm scroll on Nefany to increase her um, Lance's ability from E to D, so that way she could use steel, uh, steel lances. As well as I'm going to be using the talisman on her to increase her resistance. Uh, next up, I'm going to be using the speed wing on Rolf. Increases speed by two, up to 11. And I'm going to be using uh, the Ashira icon on Boyd to increase his luck. I believe I've done everything I wanted to here, so I'm going to go ahead and begin moving out. Leave the base! We should be leaving, bud. Looks like everyone's going to be a while yet. My Lord Ike, are you ready to go? Me? As long as I've got my sword, I'm always ready. A sword? That's it? If I've got my cape, I could sleep just about anywhere. As for food, well, something always turns up. <laughs> That's delightful. It is? Yes, very much so. <laughs> Princesses, I don't think I'll ever understand them. What's going on? Why all the excitement? My Lord Ike, there's a crowd gathering at the town entrance. That's... Attention citizens! We've received reports of Crimean army stragglers hiding in this town. From this point forth, the Dayan army will blockade all points of entry. No one comes or goes without our leave. The harbor is also closed. No ships will be allowed to sail. Ike, Dayan troops have... I know. All we can do is move toward the dock and try not to be discovered. Have you seen Ranulf? Not yet. Wait, here he comes now. Ranulf, over here. Whew, things sure are heating up, aren't they? How are things on your end? Everything's set. All you need to do is sneak down to the harbor. You'll be met by a man with a dusky parlor. His name is Nasir. Nasir is a man you can trust. I've explained your situation to him and he's willing to help. If you could reach his ship safely, he'll take care of everything and deliver you to Benyon. Renolf, aren't you coming too? I was planning on it, but Dane's movements had me concerned. I'll stay behind and see what's going on. Oh, I'm sorry, I wasn't watching where I was going. No, pardon me. Ah! Gah! Subhuman! Blast! It's true! A subhuman! How dare you come prowling around here! Beast! You stinking subhumans need to learn your place! Human towns are too good for you! Ew, it's so hairy! Go on, scat! He is just getting the crap beat out of him. Dang! Mordecai! Ike, we must leave. No! We have to help Ranulf! All of this noise will attract the attention of Dan troops. That's why we have to hurry and help! He'll be fine. Leave him. Ranulf is strong. Even stronger than me. It's alright. Ranulf has no intention of defending himself. Look, he's not even changing forms! I can't just stand by and watch as he gets murdered. Ike, wait! Idiot human. Stop! Get, get uh, out of my way! Keep your hands off him! Who do you think you- Who do you think you are? Why would a human want to protect some subhuman? He's a friend of this monster! I saw them talking earlier! What's that to you? Hey, the Crimean Royals had subhuman companions, didn't they? Maybe you're the one of those army guys the Dan troops are searching for! You there! Dan soldier! Ho! Oh, there's some sus suspicious folk over here! Huh? That way! Hurry! Are you mad? Your king was murdered by Dan! And now you're going to cooperate with them? Well, um... I heard the king was teaming up with those subhumans. That's what got him killed. Yeah, that's right. If we need allies, we'll take flesh and blood day and humans over some fang subhuman freak. Yeah, yeah. At least we know what we're getting. Trust your own kind. You people are insane. Where's the subhuman everyone's screaming about? Remember him? Huzzah, the two half vigilantes are here. Grab those guys and turn them over to the Dayan army! That'll prove our allegiance and gain our village favor! Haha, <laughs> if you want subhumans hunted down, I'm your man. Ike! Ranulf, are you alright? Why did you come back? 
Because some fool was going to lay here and get beaten to death instead of defending himself. Ah, uh, Ike. What would you have me do? Gallia and Crimea have formed an alliance. Cannot jeopardize that by harming these people no matter what ill they bear me. Even if none of them care two figs about their own country? Even if they're citizens of Crimea after all. Well, I'm not Gallian, so there's no reason for me to hold anything back. Ike, listen to me. They think that you and I are allies. If you attack, it's no different than if I do so myself, so... Let me guess, you're telling me to avoid Dane Pursuit and leave the town vigilantes alone. Get to the docks as soon as possible, find the man named the Seer and get everyone on his boat. Is that it? Exactly! I don't care what anyone else says. I think you're pretty... I don't care what anyone else says. I think you're pretty bright. All right, I'll play along. But mark my words, if they attack, heads will roll. What? Hey, that's not gonna do us any good. Titania, Soren, we're getting we're getting everyone together. We're getting out of here. Or rather, get everyone together. We're getting out of here. And weirdly enough, Dayan has already sort of run past us and made the, and have completely occupied the village. And with that, we can see what we're up against here. We got three soldiers right here. We got some wyvern riders just out of our reach here. Uh, we've got the vigilantes up here as well. These are our, uh, are one of our bonus experience conditions, as well as being this within a certain number of turns. I believe it was seven turns to beat this in. Show it on screen right now, so it doesn't really matter. For every single one of these guys kept alive, we gain bonus experience. The mercenary, I'm not sure of, because he's not with... He's not labeled as a vigilante, but I think he counts. On the guide that I was looking at, it says there are five in total, but I could only find four, and maybe the mercenary does count? We'll see, though. Everyone else here, though, is a day in soldier. And we also got some open houses here, but... We also got a thief. So we're gonna have to start making tracks pretty quickly to get to those houses. With all that said and done, though, I think it's about time for me to organize the troops. One thing I forgot to do before heading out was creating a new weapon. And I'm gonna use this, uh, I'm gonna take this opportunity to make a steel axe with, uh, maxed out hit and attack and low, the lowest way it could possibly go. And for its name, I think I'd go for my Irish roots by naming it Axolotl. And of course, it must be green. I'll give it to, I don't plan on using it much, but I will plan, on, I will give it to Kieran for now. Here's what everyone's looking like so far. Ike is probably not going to be used at all in this battle, except for maybe a little bit. Um, his, um, he is getting to, like, to be a, a pretty high level. Basically, like, spoiler alert, essentially. He doesn't promote the same way other units do. And if he gets to level 20, he'll be stuck there for a, for a while. So you want to, like, you want to kind of balance out when you, when you're getting him experience and whatnot. Seeing everything over here. We equipped, uh, Kieran with our new axe. And I gave Rolf the iron bow as well. Now that everything's out of the way, let's begin. Listen to me. Do not let a single Crimean soldier escape our grasp. Sweep the entire town. Arrest anyone suspicious. General McCoy! Sir, there is a group of vigilantes who want to help us. What shall I tell them? Hmm. Very well. Let them do as they please. Yes, sir. Pardon me. Are you the commander of these forces? I am. And who are you? I'm the captain of the boat you moored here. My name is Nasir. I stopped by to accomplish some brief, uh, piece of business, but... Your soldiers are now preventing me from setting sail. I need to leave this place. I apologize for the inconvenience. However, we are trying to stop some Crimean soldiers from escaping. To that end, we need the cooperation of all citizens, ship captains included. My ship is a simple merchant vessel, sailing under the flag of the Benyon Empire. If I present such documentation, surely it will prove that I have no ties whatsoever with Crimea. Under Dayan rule, such Binyan papers are nothing more than fish wrap. Yet, you call yourself Nasir, correct? Protest too loudly, Nasir, we may think you a Crimean sympathizer. If that were to happen, who knows what unfortunate fate might befall your simple merchant ship. I see. So be it. You there, soldier. Sir, strengthen the watch on this ship. That man is up to something. I can feel it. No matter what happens, that ship must not be allowed to set sail. Burn her or sink her first. Yes, sir. Now then, where is our special guest? I'm right here, General McCoy. 
Oh, Sir Black Knight! I hope I didn't keep you waiting. No, I just arrived. Let us proceed. I would hear your report. There are no problems whatsoever. I have nothing to report save the tedium of it all. The farther west we travel, the weaker the Crimean fighting spirit becomes. Each town displays less and less resistance. They are literally- they li now literally throw wide the gates at first sign of our approach. With duty as humdrum as this, I worry my troops may become sloppy and lose their edge. As a fellow warrior, I can sympathize with your plight. I thank you for your understanding. This town was not scheduled for subjugation until much later. Tell me, why are you here now? Ah yes, as to that. Mere days ago, a, ca a castle that held Crimean prisoners of war was attacked and the captives freed. The perpetrators were Crimean soldiers accompanied by subhumans. According to our intelligence reports, their trail led here. I see. The princess of Crimea is said to have fled to Gallia. If we capture this band, we may gain information on her location. Do you require my assistance? I thank you for the generous offer. However, if you were to enter the fray, it would be over in a, in a twinkling. My men are starved for combat. I would beg your restraint so they may uh, be allowed some entertainment. As you will. The field is yours. Turn your soldiers loose and may their blades run red with glory. Your graciousness is greatly appreciated. Where, where was he? He wasn't in that open house in the north, was he? Good luck, Ike. You'll be fine. As for me, I'll go play a little game of cat and mouse with these dayin' fools. Catch me if you can, bitches! The galleon subhuman! After him! Don't let him get away! Everyone, move out for the harbor. Try to avoid conflict with the local vigilante group if you can. Let's go. Starting off here, we've got three new units to go over. Starting off with Brom. Being a civ in the civilian militia really starts to show as he's just ever so slightly worse than Gatry. He is an armored knight, uh, but his starting stats are lower, his skill gains are lower, not by much, mind you. So he is a good substitute for Gatry. The only problem is that, like I said, his stat gains aren't, aren't as good as Gatry's. However, Silver Lining, his speed and skill are higher than Gatry started, which, given the fact that the ladder is, uh, uh, yeah, the ladder is hard, harder to, uh, for knights to get, this gives him more opportunities to attack twice. Uh, it does give him the slight advantage of being able to make follow-up attacks. Brahm is by no means a bad armor unit, uh, but his lack of, uh, proper military training puts him just behind Gatry in usefulness. Um... And we'll, we'll see how much I use him uh, going forward. I haven't really settled on who all I want for like my final party going forward. However, speaking of people I want in the final party, Nephany! Our first instance of the soldier class, a ground unit that specializes in lances. Her mild manner nature hides a dangerous beast with him uh, within as, while her stats aren't and her stat gains aren't really anything special, I've seen con uh, comments and guides that swear by her being a beast as she gets towards endgame. Like the Myrmidon, she excels in high speed and high skill with decent strength and defense to back it up. Her wrath skill is no joke. Increases critical hit percentage whenever the unit is at less than H, uh, less than half. Units HP are at half or less. If my understanding of this is correct, that means that her critical hit chance goes up by 50 points when she's at half HP or lower. She is an indomitable beast and even more so with a killer lance. If you are using her, I recommend using a Seraph robe as having her at, at high HP means that she'll have more HP when she's at half. Her two biggest weaknesses off the start are her low level, which we uh, which we sort of just um, uh, patched up a little bit with bonus experience and that her weapon level starts off at E rank, but we patched that up with the weapon scroll that we had. Again, if you can get the Killer Lance on her, she'll become a terror on the battlefield. Moving on to our, uh, technically a, a side grade of a, of a, of a unit we already have, Kieran, the Axe Knight. M uh, very similar to Oscar, being the rival of Oscar, only he uses axes. You know, in p early gen Pokemon fashion, he chooses the one that his rival is weak to. His stats are pretty on par with Oscar's. 
Um, however, he specializes more in bulkiness with his stat with his stat gains being geared more towards HP, strength, and defense. Uh, his low starting resistance, however, makes him pretty weak to magic, but where we're at right now, you're not going to be encountering too many of those. His gamble skill isn't very good at this stage, but can become useful later on. Halves the unit's chance to hit, but doubles his chance to light a critical hit. If you equip him with, say, a killer axe, and you, you know, you start increasing his skill with, uh, with items that you can get, he can become pretty beastly with gamble. It is a pretty big risk, though. However, his skill being high means that he won't lose as much when he's, um when he's using Gamble, and his crit goes up even more because crit is tied to skill. He is, a. Uh, if you're lacking an axe user, if you don't plan on using Boyd, or if, like, if you don't want to use Titania, Kieran is a really good option, really solid option. Moving on here, I need to start making some headway here. The Iron Axe should be good enough to take this guy out. Because I need to split the party pretty heavily here. Gonna start with Titania taking out some of this, uh, this fool's, uh, this fool's stuff here and begin moving her up this way. Let's see. What is your range here? Let's get Mia to go up as far as she can and let's get Mordecai some, uh, some charges to his um, to his meter by leaving him up here. Next up, let's have Ike attack this guy. Again, I don't want to use Ike for too much because he is really strong. <laughs> Fourteen damage per hit, and he'll hit twice. Uh, also, as well. In uh, harder difficulties, there are more units in the bottom right. So you're gonna need to take pretty decent care of that. I'm gonna start by using the Axolotl on this guy to deal. Oh, it's 21 damage per hit. I was like, is it really only 11 damage per hit? 13 damage per hit. Yeah, that's why I gotta use the Axolotl. Let's have him wait here because I want him to advance with the rest of these guys. Brom, let's have you guard the house just in case of thieves, and let's have you... I mean, they're gonna be dealing no damage to you. Let's have you steel lance this guy for... Well, let's see. Rolf, how much damage are you dealing here? You're dealing 12 with that. I could probably iron lance him and still be able to finish him off with the iron bow. Iron lance for 15, yeah. And he's not gonna be dealing any damage to Brom. I do like how Brahm's uh, model, like Brahm is, is generally an overweight character and his uh, his model reflects that. That's a nice touch. Uh, Vralf come up here. Use the iron bow to take him out. On the off chance that he misses, you know? It's not, it's not too big of a deal here. Bonus experience is going to depend on these vigilantes, so I am going to do my best to avoid them as much as possible. They're also very low level. They're level one units, so getting hit by them doesn't really uh, doesn't really do much. Um, yeah, I got him going up there. I do want to position Nephany, Boyd, and Leith in a decent spot here. Rolf is going to be taking some damage, but once he defeats... Yeah, once he defeats those guys, he's going to have not much to worry about, so I'm going to keep Reese at the, up at the top. Anybody take any damage from anything? I'll have him come down here and heal Ike just so he can get some experience. All well and good. 
I need to try to advance in as far as possible. Actually, even if I could advance into this guy's range, and the archer as well, how much, how far can the archer go? One less than that guy, okay. Ah, I can get up there. All right, uh, let's get Nephany up here. What is she using right now? She can keep the point out. We'll have Boyd come up here, and I'm going to switch him over to the Steel Axe. Because he can use Steel Axes with his strength, no problem. Soren, I'm going to move up here to help support them, and Volk, I'm going to advance on ahead with them as well. It's everything for my first turn. Let's see how everything goes. Hey, are there really subhumans about? Oh yeah, no mistake about it. They'll as soon kill you as look at you. Where are they? They're over there, cunning beasts. We're just about to start flushing them out of hiding. I see. If you find one, be sure to give me a call. <laughs> I like that guy. Came to our little town just for the chance to hunt subhumans. Archer moves down, that guy moves down as he is a bow knight! I thought he crit for a second. That th that scared me when it took that long for him to charge that up. Oh, ba da ba She gonna get two attacks in? Yes! Leaf is showing them who's boss! Although a lot of the mounted units are going to start coming up here. I don't know if they can reach Leaf. I'm pretty sure Leaf can't, uh... Ooh, shit. Leaf is taking a lot of damage here. As will Rolf be taking some damage. Smack. I wonder, did I use the steel lance or the, or the iron lance here? Because that's going to make a difference in how much damage these guys get dealt. He's using the iron lance. Does he get a second hit? Oh my god! The crits! Well, that's going to make this section take one turn less. I wasn't expecting that. Ooh, they can reach there. Aha! How much damage is she dealing to that guy? 15 per hit, wow. Leith is putting in the work. We do have a thief we need to, we need to uh, worry about here, so. Gotta keep on guard for that. Oh, poopy. Okay, well, okay, we got somebody down so they can take the hit for, but man, Leaf is, Leaf is MVP right now. They're gonna start moving that way. Again, I don't know if the mercenary is part of the vigilante group. Oh, he rode away, that's why. I don't know if I do that, that she won't be able to. Do I have a ranged weapon on her? Nope. Shoot. Could have done something a touch better here. Steel Axe. That'll kill. How far can Mia go? One, two, three, four, five, six. She can start attacking that guy. However, she's also taking a large amount of damage from that guy. I think it's worth it, though. I'm going to Steel Axe this guy just to get rid of him. Now that I've learned about bonus DXP, I'm planning to try to maximize it. And... Yeah, I want her... Hmm. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay. I want her hanging back for now. There was something I needed to count. Seven damage per hit. Mm. I need to calculate this out because she's going to be taking 10 on 10 there. 11 damage per hit. And then 6 from that guy. I think it'd be better if I moved her up there and waited. She's still got Slice and Sue out, right? Yeah. 
Uh, meanwhile, over here... Actually, hold on. I could attack with the Javelin for... 13 damage, that would leave him at 8. Uh, that would deal 11, okay. How likely am I hit with the ja am I hit with the javelin? I think I could visit and attack at the same time. Say, aren't you? You are! You're one of those Crimean soldiers that the day and soldiers are after, aren't you? Go on, get moving. I'll pretend I didn't see anything. Don't worry, just go. Wait a second. Here, take this with you. A Draco shield increases defense permanently by two, and it did not do what I thought it did. <laughs> Moron. Ugh. Oh. I gotta stay here to sort of dampen his range. He'll be able to get the full range anyway. He just won't be able to go straight very far. Son of a biscuit. Why did I wait? What is happening? Why am I fat fingering so much here? Oh my god, all right. Get you up to the front and wait. Get Ike as far up as he'll go. I don't think it's, it's pertinent to rescue here. Holy cow, what in God's name am I doing? I thought visiting wasn't a full action. Okay. There is a thief up there. I've got... I don't need to reach him. He's not gonna, the soldier will attack, but the, uh, but this guy won't. Let's get Nephany up front. Uh, oh, one speed short. My kingdom for having not given my speed wing to somebody else. I give it to Rolf. I should have given it to Nephany. Let's have Nephany come up here and dust poke in this guy. She needs the experience. Man, I'm feeling something that I haven't felt in a long time. I've been recording this so long that, and I haven't eaten dinner yet that I'm like... Like, I know I shouldn't do it like this, but I haven't eaten dinner yet, and I'm like... Kinda feeling faint here. Not really faint, but like, my, my hand's starting to go numb. And I get it! Tom, you should eat! Tom, you should eat! I get it, I really do, but... I had an accident early in the episode, and... When the source of that accident reveals itself, then I will, um then uh, I will show off what the accident was. But for now, we're just gonna keep going here. I think I could probably steal Axe this guy to death in one hit. Yeah, I deal 25 damage to him. What's the attack on that? 71, that's the that's the downside to that though. Um, And I'm pretty sure if I have a, a like, it's probably not that if I put a Lagoos up here then I lose out on the item, but better safe than sorry than to do that. Uh, all right, let's uh, let's make the attempt here Because I think the Yeah, the steel axe has the best chance to hit 71% I'm confident He hit him okay good And then I don't think Volk can take out the archer, but you know as is my catchphrase in this Let's play. Uh, on top of that. I kid, my catchphrase in this let's... Well, that is my catchphrase in this let's play, but we'll see. I feel like we'll see has been a let's play in a lot of my Fire Emblem let's plays. Actually, can I position Leith? I can! I can make it so he can't use his bow. So that worked out there. Let's get Kieran up front. That's everything for turn two. Wow, I can't believe it. He's going for for Rolf. Can you believe the gall of this man to go for Rolf? Okay, so I wasn't expecting. Hmm. Yikes. Man, 
And I believe she gets the... Oh, good. Oh, why couldn't you have crit the other guy? Uh, wow, nobody needs healing? Well, not yet anyway. That's a that's about to change hardcore. I'm actually surprised that guy moved so quickly. Uh, all right, 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 all right. All right, he does have the hand axe, although I really don't plan on using him. I think it'd be better served. Actually, how far can this guy move? He can't move the full distance. Uh, steel axe attacking. Actually, I think this. I actually think the steel axe is stronger than the pole axe. It is. Let me just see how much Volk is gonna do here. He'll do eight damage total. I need him to do at least twenty-one damage with this. Ooh, but he's not gonna be able to hit very well. He will do twenty-three damage. I'm gonna risk it. If it doesn't work out, it doesn't work out. We take our lumps. <laughs> Race, where are you? Race, hurry, heal him! Let's have Volk come over and finish this guy off. Volk is gonna be very essential to this, cause this is gonna get real funny. Yikes. <laughs> Race, where's my recover staff? I'm actually doing this significantly quicker, quicker than I intended to. I don't, what, what was that? This guy actually extend, extended quicker than I thought, too. Yikers! Okay. Um. What's my duty of care here? Can I have her finish this guy off with the steel axe? Actually, couldn't I just have... Oh, yeah. Mia can do that. He said hopeful that she wouldn't get hit. Therein lies the problem. I would need to make sure that I didn't get hit. Yeah, there's a whole thing that I'm trying to do here, so it, this would probably end up being the better move. Oh, if I knew she was gonna crit! And she me she needs to, oh for God's sake I I kind of did this wrong but it's kind of okay. Ooh wait I've got an idea. Oh that works out perfectly. That's awesome. What turn is it? Three? Okay, I th think I'm still good! <laughs> there is something real bad that happens if I don't, like, if I don't clear out of here. If I don't, like, do certain things on the right tiles. Let's have her use a vulnerary, because, my god, she needs it. She's gonna take 10 damage from that guy if that guy decides to attack. All right, Kieran, why don't you go and visit here? Oh my gosh, are you, are you really fighting Dane? Whew, that's so brave. We've heard so many rumors about Crimea's defeat. That's why everyone in town acts like they do. No one has the courage to stand up to these fierce Dane forces. Everyone believes that if they just cooperate here, life will go on as it always has. Please, take this magic scroll. It was my brother's. He was murdered by the Dayan army. Fight for him, too. Elwind! Not bad. Let's advance further up here. 
Let's have let's have Nephany take out this guy. Das Pokin will do the job. And the healer isn't terribly much of a threat right now, so I don't need to do anything with him. The guy on the bottom, other, uh, however, that I've been horribly neglecting, because I really like screwed this up. Brom is gonna be having trouble keeping up with everybody here. 75% chance with the javelin versus significantly more with the iron lance. I think it's worth it to use the iron lance. He gets no damage dealt to him. Good day to you, sir. Over here, and have Rolf use the iron bow to get rid of this guy. If I could save the uses of Rolf's bow, that'd be great because it's a significantly better bow than, like, it's almost like, in ways it's better than the steel bow and in ways it's not, but in the ways that it's better than the steel bow, it makes it better than the steel bow. That's my story and I'm sticking to it. Actually, what do we got coming over here next? Oh, just that guy. I wonder if it'd be prudent to att attract the Lagoon Slayer. Actually, yeah, we're gonna do that. Mm, but wait, the healer. Yeah, it'd be better if I did this. Get back! Meanwhile, Ike and Reese are still making their way downtown. He can't rescue Reese? Weight of nine, Reese is a weight of eight. I guess you have to outweigh them by a certain amount in order to uh, make that possible. Soren comes up here, and that's everybody. That positioning might actually serve me very well. Oh right, I unequipped her. That's a little bad. Mm -hmm. I bear you no ill will, but I must. There are reasons I must fight. Yikes! Yeah, he's got a killing edge. Okay. Here's the plan. What's that? Thieves are, ta are taking advantage of the common commotion to sack our little town? We must close the front gate. Thanks for your help. Oh, I almost forgot. Please take this as a token of our thanks. Go on. A killer lance! A- oh no. This is very unfortunate. Okay. Unfortunately, Mia needs to get the hell out of Dodge. Oh wait, actually. I might be able to make this work. We'll see. Oh boy, this is so like... Yeah, this is gonna be rough. Okay, okay, okay. This is gonna be fine. Stop, just stop panicking. If you've played this game already, you know what's coming. And I am terrified of it. I get Nephany some bonus experience by attacking with Das Pokin. Not enough speed. Would the point be enough? Not enough attack. Uh... Hit him with Elwind to be able to. Yeah, let's let's. We haven't seen Elwind in action yet, so let's do that. Well... 
Then Nephany can finish him off. And get the well-earned, well-deserved experience. Nephony, Nephona. Nephony, phony, phona. Oh, I shouldn't have used the point. I should have used the uh, Das Pokin. His body missed the point. All right, uh, <laughs> getting these two in back into the fray. That's gonna be fun. By the way, the win condition of arrive is unique as only one unit, any unit, needs to make it to the end. Short axe, 13 per hit, wow. I need to make sure that, that she doesn't get hit with the Lagoo Slayer. Uh, oh, I got an idea. He'll get two hits for 15 damage. I don't want to do that much damage to him. I want Volk. Well, no, I want Boyd to get the experience because I don't plan on using Kieran. I've already got an Axe user. His name is Kieran and Titania. I don't know how far I plan to take Titania, but I plan to use Titania more than I plan to use Kieran. Uh, oh wait, what am I? Oh wait, no, that is a significant drop in damage. How much does the short X do? 14 per hit, he's gonna kill him anyway. It's the first use of the short X too. And my god, Boyd has just so much strength that the axes are just so easy for him to use. A nice little level up there. Let's see how much he gets. Uh, skill isn't bad. Would have preferred a little bit more strength because there is a class of weapons coming up that is a little bit more harmful than good. Uh, let's have you wait there. I need Volk pretty much up at the front lines. Get you there. Enemy phase. Did I do this right? <laughs> Your odd garb marks you as a subhuman. You shouldn't have left the forest. You cannot survive in human settlements. Five damage. Mm. Mm. Mm -mm. That's one thing I was afraid of. On. Oh, he's transforming. Oh, that sucks. Yes! <laughs> Go, quickly now. Huh? I'll distract the townsfolk. Now's your chance. What? Why? You don't... I don't want to see any Lagoos harm, so I join these vigilantes as a double agent. Hmm? I am confused, but you do not smell like an enemy. Our group must get on that ship. We are taking it to Benyon. Will you not desist? It's much too dangerous. The vigilantes and the Danes desire nothing more than to kill Lagoos. Even so, we will go. I see. If that is your stance, then we've no choice. Then I have no choice. I will join your group. You will betray your friends. I told you, they are no friends of mine. I am an ally to the Lagoos. What, you need proof? There. Why do you drop your blade? That bright metal tool is your only fang. I want you to believe me. Please, you must believe me. I believe you. I am Mordecai, warrior of Gallia. Who are you? I am Zeark. Well met, Mordecai. Whoops, I don't think we have time for a formal introduction. Let's hurry. And now... Commander Har, awake! This is no time to be sleeping. A subhuman has been spotted. Come, let us join the thrill of the hunt. Uh, let's not. Even if we don't lift a finger, McCoy's pups will take care of everything. Battle Gloria waits! Would you allow the others to steal this chance from beneath your very nose? Uh, go entertain yourself, will ya? Fight, or, uh, fight a soldier or lance a peasant or what you will. But for the love of flying, stop interrupting my sleep. 
Oh, you're such a... The fighting? Wake me when it's done. <laughs> That's it! I'm going in by myself! <laughs> what? Jill, hold on, hold a moment. Yes? Have you changed your mind? You're here with the rest of us. We don't move unless we're attacked. That's the word from the top. Ah! We now have Wyvern Riders chasing us! Uh, similar to Pegasus Knights, they are flying units. However, they are bulkier, uh, specializing less in speed and more in defense. And in strength as well. Do not gain the ire of the vigilantes. I need to move yesterday. Step one, though, steal. Because it's not equipped, I can just take his weapon. And stealing that puts me at a very advantageous position. He'll deal 12 damage to her. This guy is incredibly fast. He's only got 12 health left, though, so I need to be careful with, uh, with Leaf. I need to figure out just how much damage I'm gonna be dealing with Boyd. Is she? Okay, good. That one doesn't reach. Might also behoove me to get people out of range of that. Oh, right! Zark is a friend of the Lagoos and another Myrmidon! His, um... He is, in my opinion, the first instance of a true side grade to Mia. Uh, each of them have their own unique roles, and I'm gonna go, and, you know, I'll go over Zearks right now. Uh, he is, he's got a similar stat, uh, starting stats and, uh, slightly better stat gains than Mia. However, he's a little bit more geared towards defense. He's got better defense gains than Mia, so he's gonna be a little bit bulkier. The different roles they tend to excel in are that Mia has vantage, allowing her to stay sort of in the front lines of combat and finish off opponents that might that uh, finish off weakened opponents that might go to attack her. Whereas Zark is more of a gamble. He's more of a chance taker. His ability adept is the same one that Soren has. Based off a percentage of his skill, he will he might be able to attack twice. And given Myrmidon's propensity for great speed, uh, he might be able to attack up to four times per turn, which is no joke. He comes equipped with the Killing Edge, uh, which is always a good sword for a Myrmidon, uh, as it gives a much higher crit chance, similar to the uh, the Killing Lance that we picked up earlier. Um, honestly, I'm going to be using Mia for this uh, playthrough, but it, for your own playthrough, don't sleep on Zark. He is incredibly good. I might be overselling it a little bit. All right. We have to... She only has the Killer Lance. I forgot I gave all of her weapons to Mordecai. Ooh, please crit. One attack. Hmm. Okay. At five. The important thing is that I get everybody across the bridge. Oh wait, I can. Yeah, no, that that works. That that does work. That works greatly in my favor, actually. Um, you know what? Let's have Mordecai jump into battle here. Let me see what range this guy has. Uh, yeah, he'll be able to jump pretty far into the territory without having to deal with much. Meanwhile! However, I have a pretty, 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 pretty decent advantage against this guy. I really hope the poleaxe hits. Because it'll leave him at one. Hmm. They're not fleeing. They're actually headed this way. It appears that we have underestimated the courage of our foe. I'm surprised that hit. S like, I, I equate like 80% to closer to like 90%, but like 75% might as well be- Or sorry, 60% 60 60 might as well be 50%. Uh, can Nephany finish him off with Das Pokin? She can. Da -ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba -da 
So, we were the ones guilty of miscalculation. How shameful. Your Excellency, the rest is up to you. Mm. Yeah, I spoken. She gained almost a full level up from that. Come on, we just need a little more. The speed is good though, because she was she was being outclassed by a bunch of people. Another master seal. Not too shabby. Move Soren up to here. Oh my god. I might as well put them on autopilot at this point. I'll move, uh, well, let's see. I'll move Kieran over here, because there's a chance they might go for him twice. He's got Axolotl, it's, he should be fine. Hello! All these men, and they're still having problems. Did I make a miscalculation? Ah, it's him! He's retreating? I mean, better safe than sorry, but still. Remember that accident I talked about earlier that prevented me from ending this recording and going to eat? Yeah, meet the Black Knight again! Once this battle is over, you'll see on screen exactly what happened to Mordecai. Yikes! Uh-oh! A subhuman warrior. I would test your strength. Ike, I am sorry. I can fight no more. To Galia must return. Our first death. And probably not my last if I can't get everybody out of here! If you are in range of him, he will move to attack, and he is beastly! A level 20 general with maxed out strength, skill, and defense, and the other stats aren't slouching either! With Allendite, a sword that has a range of two, and 18 might! The Black Knight is no joke! They want you to escape, and they made it very hard to get Z-Arc without losing anybody. This has been one hell of a mission for me. Anyway, I gotta get Reese to healing people here. Has anybody taken any damage? One, two, three, four, five. Wait, one, two, three, four, five. Okay, we're advancing. Uh. By the end of turn seven, we need to be there. So, I'm gonna start pushing forward with my units. Steel sword, 18 though, so that's not bad. Gonna be one unit that I don't take out because I was unable to get good hits on him, but he's retreating anyway, and like, it's, it's like impossible to go after him. Like, he is just hiding right now. At any rate, pardon me, I'm just trying to ga gauge the uh, the best uh, course of action here. I'm pretty sure this guy doesn't move, but on the off chance he does, he's attacking with 17, he's attacking with 8. They both deal 8 damage to her, but she's doing pretty well, so I'm going to advance her as far forward as possible. I'm going to put Nephany in a position here. What's she doing on health? I think she hasn't taken a hit, right? No, yeah, oh, she leveled up, that's why. What she got? I'll keep, I'll give her the point. I'm gonna move Boyd. I do need to consider this because, remember, like I said, by the end of turn seven, I need to be over there. Um. Ooh, I could actually make...
Uh, he's still got plenty of turns left in beast form. Yes, I have an idea. It starts not by doing that. By taking out the healer. With Mordecai's r ridiculous claw stat, it's not too hard. My thing is a little bit slower because I still haven't eaten yet. <laughs> but I'll be getting to it. To be on the safe side, I am gonna move Kieran pretty far up front. How much health does he have? 30, he'll be fine. And I'll keep him equipped with Axolotl. Wait, who was I gonna heal? Oh, Rolf, that's right. I did not give Reese a lot of experience this time around. Uh, it's a mounted unit that's closer, so we'll keep the Polax out. Have her come over here. She can come up here. Volk can come over here in case I want to get some more experience with him. Soren can come up here. Zark can come over here. Uh, who haven't I used yet? Ike, he can come up here. I could have just ended the turn and it would have been fine. And he's really running. Oh, I thought the, the Wyvern Riders chased after you. It could be that way on harder difficulties. Nine damage. Vass is a decent chunk there. Of course he ran away. And Nephany can't reach him. Other units can, though. Nephany can, however, reach him. I just want to check on how much damage the point would do. Eight. Mordecai, can you do at least 16? 15? Are you kidding me? Oh, he would attack twice, though, so it would do a lot more damage than I would hope that it would. Killer Axe for eight damage per hit. Plus, she would not be able to move after that. She would be able to move after that if she move, if she hit from here, though. Eight damage per hit. Possibly critting, because I took all of her weapons. I'm just trying to get the most experience out of everybody here. Uh, I could have Boyd trade. with Titania, take a steel... Wait. Because uh, I want something that'll do similar damage, but not crit. So yeah, take the steel axe. Hopefully I did that right. 10 damage per hit with only a 4% four, uh, 4 chance of critting, and then... Uh, yeah, it could be finished off with Das Pokin. Or, uh, or the point, rather. I I should check how much damage he was gonna do to her, because I, I think I made a miscalculation here. Thirteen defense versus... Okay, four damage. And then the point should kill, right? Exactly eight damage. like a giant chess board, except your pieces can level up. Well, the pawns can level up in chess, but only once. Another level up. Please get a better level up this time, Nephany. Why magic? Okay. I'm just gonna have Kieran or Mordecai Who's even close? One, two, three, four, five, six. I've got a stupid idea! Welcome to the world of shove chaining! Not Axolotl, Iron X. How much damage am I doing there? Seven? Yes.
I can't believe it. Let me just check real quick to make sure that... Okay. Alright, well, hopefully Slice's Sue will be able to take him out. Yeah, Slice's Sue is the way to go here. <laughs> this should have ended so long ago. And not just because I took, like, I, I had to reset. Da -da -da -da. And with one unit I couldn't kill, Mordecai arrives at the ship. The mercenaries boarded the ship safely. Now how to proceed? You're not impeding that ship. I won't allow it. One of Gallia's beast warriors. I've met you once before, yes. At the castle near the Sea of Trees. From where I'm standing, we've actually met twice. Oh? I saw you that night. Standing in the light of the full moon the night you murdered Sir Grail. <laughs> so you were the one traveling with the Beast King, eh? Interesting. By measuring his aid's strength, I will naturally learn more of the king's true power. Hate to tell you this, but my king is not to be measured against the likes of me. He is far beyond that. All the better. Now then, let us begin. The fight begins. He got a crit on Ranulf. And Ranulf missed and didn't do any damage. Ugh. Why? Why do my attacks do nothing? You fight impressively. However, you are no match for me. A healing spell? Huh? Hmm. Rise. Leave this to me. You! You were one of the prisoners! This knight will not raise a, his hand to me, correct? Now go! Quickly! If you insist, I'll give you a proper thanks the next time we meet! Commander Har! Let us pursue the enemy ship! They're friends of the subhumans! We cannot allow them to escape! That was a good nap. Well, looks like the fighting's over. Form up. It's time to withdraw. Commander! Listen to me, Jill. We're scheduled to return home tomorrow. If you were injured in a place like this, your Lord Father would not be pleased. It's because of my father that I must not return home empty-handed! I must have something to show him! Please! Simmer down, girl. Black Knight has ordered us to withdraw. Would you ignore his word? Th that would be suicide, correct. So let's move out. Blast! My lord, lord Black Knight, a ship is departing. If we ready our own ship and set sail without delay, we can overtake it immediately. Listen to me, Dane General. You will withdraw from this place immediately. I will not allow you to pursue that ship. Who are you supposed to be, fool? You've no idea who you're speaking to, do you? Gather your men. Withdraw. Y yet we... I will not repeat myself. Do it now. Y yes, at once. Are you sure that's true? Yes, you can ask these two for more details. Those two folks that were here representing, uh, the two of us were here representing the townsfolk. You say that Green had last boarded the ship? Y yes, she had a very noble bearing about her. She was beautiful. Her name was Ellie, Ellen, I they called her something like that. It's true, Princess Alincia. Ha <laughs> my luck has changed. All of us, all the townsfolk are ready to cooperate in any way we can. If you would keep that in mind, um... Believe me, I understand your... loyalty. 
Well then. You there? Come here. Yes, sir. Right here. Get these two worms out of here. Find the hardest physical labor in this town and get these fools started. Work them from dusk till dawn without stopping. Work them until they can no longer move. You got that? Yes, sir. Understood, sir. But, but that's... Why? Why would you... Stop your whining. How else am I to reward worms vile enough to sell their own princess to the enemy? Enjoy your payment, you greedy dastards. <laughs> our, our own princess. That's not... It can't be. It can't. No. No! And he got dragged away. My Lord Ike, how wonderful. I didn't think you were going to make it. I'm sorry to have worried you. Oh no, I'm just happy to see you well. So very happy. She fall in love with him? Like, what's going on there? There's a connection to be had. <sighs> I doubt the enemy would pursue me this far. A warrior such as you wounded. Did a Bayark give you that bruise? Master Gifka! Ow! Uh, ki the king told me to come and check on you. Don't move. You're plenty banged up, but nothing appears to be broken. There's one among the Dayan army whose power is overwhelming. To move with such speed with all that armor, I tell you, it's not right. And now, the king's forced to use you, Shadow Warrior, to check up on me. Our ministers are obstinate as ever. No matter what happens, they will not approve of the an alliance with the Bayork. Nothing to be done about that. Every one of the order older retainers have memories of Lagu's subordination. Even the king. If Princess Alencia were not King Ramon's orphan, I doubt he would be willing to aid her. Perhaps you're right. At any rate, the princes and the others are now safely at sea. And the watchdog? No sign of carelessness, I presume? Of course not. Even the elders will bend their ears to hear what that one says. That one is special, after all. And how do you see this? Princess Alintia's drive for the reconstruction of Crimea. Does she have a chance? <sighs> Who can say? Which way the wheel turns depends on Ike and his mercenaries. Success and failure are but a hair removed. So this company, which has done nothing but flee, controls the fate of the kingdom? That's a dangerous gamble, isn't it? All gambles are dangerous, Master Gifka. But make no mistake, Dane's next target is Gallia. We must go home and prepare. I've given three people the maxi from, from Team Magma Voice. Princess Crimea, did she board the ship to Benyon with the remainder of the going go, of Gawain's mercenaries? Yes. The hindrance that was Gawain is dead. The location of the medallion will soon be known. Has our worm worked itself into the group? It appears that our worm has been accepted as a trusted member of the company. <laughs> All is going as planned. Now we let them swim as they please. There is one thing. I met someone unexpected at the harbor. Who? The Prime Minister of the Benyon Empire. What? Is that true? If he is nosing about, we must not make any mistakes. He must not... Uh, he must not give any indication he had caught on to our plans. That, I do not know. He did tell me to deliver a message to you. Overreaching ambition invites disaster. <laughs> Nonsense. Our only concern is the Princess of Crimea and the Medallion. We must wait and watch until the t uh, such time as we can strike. In the interim, I want you to take charge of the invasion of Gallia. Be smart. You must not allow Gallia to bring their full might to bear, understood? As you will. Next time on Fire Emblem Path of Radiance, why did I almost say three houses? We are at the, taking the sea to head to Benyon and take out, well, not really take out, but escort Princess Olivia. I really need to eat. We're escorting Princess Alicia to Benyon. See you all next time, later.